conversation with self. <laughs> well, self, what's going on with you today? Well, self, I, you know, I just want to say to you, self, you know, you're a real trooper, self. You know, don't be so hard on yourself all the time. You know, you try to do the right thing. That's that, that's your objective, you know. You, you, you strive to do the right thing. You make mistakes, you stumble, you get weak, you you struggle with, with fleshly desires and things like that. You want to be loved and cared for and cared about. But you just seem to run into folks who just can't stand it. Your, your disciplined behavior and they take it the wrong way or they're jealous or you know or whatever but uh, self you know what you will be proud of yourself anyway you did the work it's okay to pat yourself on the back it's not being arrogant you know it's not trying to throw it into people's face you you did the work you went to college you graduated you have two degrees you earned itself nobody gave it to you you know, um, people love self to mis misunderstand me, you know, or misunderstand you, you know, why, why do they do that, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm taking a look at myself, you know, the thing that disturbs me self is that about you, about your, me, about you, self, is that you were so naive. You know, you want good for everyone, but you couldn't. Even though you knew there's bad, you just didn't want to think people would be out to tear you apart. You know, you just never thought people would just have a whole agenda designed just to tear you down you know, or misunderstand you or misrepresent everything that you stand for. And that's the kind of thing that you got to learn how to get past that self. It's not your fault. It's okay to say that. It's not, it's not your fault, self. You know, people mis, misrepresent themselves to be single and then uh, they end up being entangled in other situations that they don't tell you about. Or self, they start talking to you and self, then they, I guess they decide I'm not good enough or whatever it is. And they, then they choose somebody, openly choose someone else. And then they just leave you hanging like you don't matter like like you're not even worthy to even ha get explanations as to why you were treated that way i mean you know that's just how life is and you just got to get used to self you gotta i know you're older and everything but you know what self you meant well you did you meant well yeah you made a lot of mistakes along the way but not on purpose you know you kind of stumbled your way into it for being naive but you know what you forgave yourself. You asked forgiveness from people that you may have offended, and you moved on. It takes a big person to apologize publicly if they made a mistake. But it's sad to see self, other people, when they make mistakes or they do criminal acts against you, they try to act like, you know, you in the wrong for calling them out for it. It takes a strong person, self, and you should feel proud of yourself for standing up and calling people out for their for their madness, you know? Self, you ought to feel good that you're single and you haven't allowed yourself to be compromised to the to the degree to where you settle for something less than what you feel like you deserve. You know, it's not your fault, self, when other people choose other people over you. 
But you know, the one thing that I never understood about that cell, why do those people try to come back to you after they left you for the Jazzy sp spirit, Jezebel spirit? Why? I don't understand that. And you know, it's never the same. You never feel the same way about these people after that, you know? But I'm thankful that I love God and that they they reveal things to me about these, these people, you know, how selfish they are in bringing people into their madness, you know, and not being... You be, it, being deceived, liars, deceivers, and cheats, you know? I just know that I don't want somebody like that. I don't want a liar, a deceiver, and a cheat. I don't want to live with a liar, deceiver, and a cheat. I refuse to. And once I feel like that's what I'm dealing with, I get away from people like that. You know, I still, I, I, I do believe there's good people out there still, but there's a lot of illusion going on. Another thing I don't understand is how law enforcement caters to the criminals a lot of times, you know? They let them get away with way too much, you know? When they when they can when they can just get these people off the streets and they just, you know, they're quick to listen to what they have to say, but the victims are they become victimized by the system when they speak out. So, I want you I want you to know you should be proud of yourself because you stood up for yourself in this horrible, horrible, atrocious gang stalking situation that you dealt with, you know? And and people and, and but you know what you saw a whole you see how people really are, don't you self? You see that people don't are 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 quick to jump to conclusions, but slow to make the corrections once they've seen and found out that they made a mistake, you know? Self, so one thing about you, self, when you make a mistake and you realize it, you just, you come out and say you made a mistake and you try to atone for it. it takes a big person to do that, self. So. Don't be so hard on yourself, self. So. You know, be proud of yourself. You worked hard for everything you have, you know, and it's not over for you, you know. You're going to do great things, so never lose faith that you're going to reach your goals, even if you were slowed down a little bit. Never give up, self. Never give up. And, and, and believe that there is someone out there for you. That, you, that you're both going to like each other at the same time. Not one person like the other person and the other person not like the, like the other person. But they're together. I can never understand that. How people that don't like each other stay together. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. You know, I don't understand how people are in relationships with other people and they're not happy but to go outside of their relationships and involves innocent people into their dysfunction, then once they make up, they blame the person that was deceived, you know? It's, it's a tough world out here. It's a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of misrepresentation. But... So I want you to feel proud of yourself because you try to do the right thing. Are you perfect? Nah, you're not perfect. Do you do you struggle with, with the flesh? Yeah, sometimes, you know. You should be proud of yourself, though. Because you really try hard, so. And you get very little credit for that. Very little. If, if nothing else, people try to always tear you down. And that's hard. To hold your head up when people are misunderstanding you and misrepresenting yourself. You know? But feel proud of yourself because you you don't you're not afraid to speak up. 
Well, maybe even if you are afraid to speak,